Easiest way to move my Windows installation to an SSD? I've taken the plunge and bought an SSD and want to move my existing Windows installation over. The current hard disk is 500 GB, but I've trimmed the contents down to about 40 GB. I'm transferring it across to a 100 GB SSD and looking for the easiest way just to copy everything across and set the SSD up as a boot device. I've looked at a few tools like Macrium Reflect, but they don't seem able to restore to a smaller drive. Do I need to go for something like Ping to do this? I'm trying to avoid scary Linux-based boot utilities if possible. Does anyone know of an easier way? Imagex is a free tool that is part of the Windows 7 Wake download. It is what we use for imaging machines at work. It can even be used to create backups of the machine. If you're doing the C drive, you have another drive D, and your SSD is currently set to E, then it would just be a matter of booting into Windows Pay, and then... That will make a very large file named image.wim on the other drive. You could even map a drive and put it on the network, which is what we do. Then, reconfigure the drives to make sure that the SSD is now, see column backslash. Reboot into Windows Pay again, and type. Then, after that, it is critical to run this command, still in Pay. That will have it make everything bootable. If, boot.x, Fails you might have to mark the partition you copied Windows on as active first using the disk part utility. Update. Open source Amagex Wimlib Amagex.x. My successful experience. Attach the SSD drive and format as NTFS. Boot with the Windows 7 original DVD and GT, restore. Check the source drive letter and destination drive letters, for example E and H. Execute. Detach the old drive and boot again with the Windows 7 original DVD and GT, restore. Shut down. Swap the drive, power on, select to boot from the new drive in the BIOS. Windows 7's built-in backup feature makes this very easy as long as you have another, third, drive to store the backup on. This URL. I just did this this weekend, and it worked perfectly. I just successfully copied my Windows install over to a new SSD yesterday. I knew I wanted to use Parted, but wasn't sure what to do after that. It took me a couple hours to get the computer booting from the SSD after I copied Windows over, so I thought I'd make note of what I did. Here is what I did. Freed up enough space on my hard drive so that what was on it would fit on the SSD. Downloaded and burned a carded live CD. It is a Linux-based partition editor but I found it easy to use and reliable. Put the SSD into the computer. Change the boot priority in the BIOS to have the SSD at the top, good to verify so you know where you're booting from. Booted to parted and resized my hard drive's partition to be smaller than the SSD. The resizing took almost an hour. 
Then I copied and pasted the hard drive's partition to the SSD and resized it to fill the SSD at the same time. Took about half an hour. Go in advanced mode and consider options, such as recover, if dealing with a defective disk. I unplug the hard drive with my old Windows install. You don't have to, but if it is unplugged, then when the computer is booted and the desktop appears, you know everything is working right. During my attempts when I didn't have the hard drive unplugged, I once booted from the SSD when it was drive E, but the registry still referenced drive C. So I was using E column backslash windows from the SSD, but C column backslash users and C column backslash program files from the hard drive. Booted to the Windows 7 installed disk and opened the recovery command prompt. The drive letters needed changed so that the SSD's partition is C, like it was on the hard drive. I did this with disk part. Something like this, the SSD is 111 GB. Important, if partitions were cloned to new disk, you won't be able to tell them apart while having both disks connected. Simplest thing is leaving a text file in the OS partition saying which drive that is. executed these commands before restarting. I'm not sure they are all necessary but running them doesn't hurt. Booted from the SSD and everything worked. I plugged the hard drive back in. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, Squirtle.